the new plan to transform the Avenue of the Arts in Center City. City leaders just unveiled their $100 million plan to turn that portion of Broad Street into a serene green space. Absolutely stunning. Of course, right in the hub of, of Broadway on Broad Street, our art scene is thriving here. This looks gorgeous. Action News reporter Maggie Ken joining us live in Center City with all the details. Hey, Maggie. So this is an absolute dream for any art lover, for anyone who loves public art spaces, anyone who loves public greenery. But of course, there are a lot of hurdles to get through first, but it's absolutely gorgeous once we show you those renderings. As you know, the Avenue of the Arts south of City Hall on Broad Street here is a home to so many cultural institutions, including the Kimmel Center, which we're standing right in front of, the Wilma Theater. We have the ballet. We have the orchestra. We have Kappa, Creative and Performing Arts School. We have the Rock School. Every everything happening here in terms of arts and culture. And now we want to show you those renderings from the Avenue of the Arts uh, about what it could look like in the future. These are dreams, these are goals, these are aspirations, and we're starting to see now these renderings of what these hopes are looking like with greenery, cafe seating, and public art installations changing the look of Broad Street south of City Hall into a park-like environment. It would also be more pedestrian friendly with outdoor performance spaces as well. Now with a $100 million fundraising goal, this plan would transform Broad Street block by block, starting with the pilot program right where I'm standing between Spruce and Pine Streets. Pending approval processes, obviously, the aim is to break ground on this first block in early 2025 and to complete it by spring 2026. This timeline is aggressive and aligns though with Philadelphia's moment in the global spot spotlight. We're gonna be hosting, as you all know, the FIFA World Cup Finals, the MLB All-Star Game, and of course, America's 250th celebration. And of course, these are beautiful designs and ideas, but there needs to be some hurdles that they have to get through with city approvals and that $100 million fundraising goal. But I can tell you they're already well on their way, as we just heard from uh, Council President Kenyatta Johnson's team, that the city will be donating $1 million to this goal of a green, clean space out here with people being able to enjoy it, getting a taste of fresh air with some trees, greeneries, cafe seating, outdoor performance and of course public art which we love here in Philadelphia right here along South Broad Street. Again the goal is to break ground in 2025 once all those permits are won so that it's open for 2026 when we have an influx of tourists here so they can see what the city of brotherly love is all about. We're live at the Kimmel Center of Maggie Kent Channel 6 Action News. Guys? It does look spectacular. Really nice. Maggie, thank you.